So look, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is my last video of the day. This is my last video of the day, bro. Just like, but except my my last hours are different from y'all last hours. Some of y'all got a nine to five, ain't knocking, and I'll be working nine to nine. And the six upside down, it's a nine. You already know the bro. Drake said, and they leave because of pride, but they coming back every time. The devil that I recognize, most of them got pretty eyes. These just the players that just getting by. That's the way they live and die. Easy to judge, girl, but who am I? Truth or dare, I'm going to take a double dare. Truth is a suicide. I would rather live a lie. But anyway, bro, I'm still on that. I'm still. The last hour go by smooth. Y'all last hour go by long when you at work. I'm gonna keep it 100. I did three videos today and I'm happy this is over. It's done. I mean, not yet, but it's about to be. Get the merch, link in the description. To everybody that's new. What up? Um, to all my day ones. Get the merch before we catch a fade, bro. And y'all know the day ones I'm talking about. That's at least to it. We finna start the video. I get carried on. I can't really do it all. I don't wanna do. No, but 10,000 likes for you, boy. Let's get it. From accidentally confessing to escapes, these are five of the fastest police interrogations in history. Starting with Raymond Gates demonstrating exactly how to head straight to prison in seconds. Real quick. Real quick. Starting with Real quick. In the comments. Don't fast forward it. In the comments, what did Raymond do? I don't know what, look, I don't know what he did, but I'm telling you what he didn't do. Slide on no op. He didn't go in there for, bro didn't do nothing that had nothing to do with a dude, bro. I be stereotyping. He look like, he, 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 he scared of dudes. When they walking this way, he go this way. If they on the same side of the street, he cross the street. If he get pulled over by a male police officer, he request a female. That's... Anything that had to do with the mail, bro, didn't go to, he did. Raymond Gates demonstrating like exactly he how to head straight to prison in seconds. Raymond was brought in after police obtained footage of him assaulting a 17-year-old girl. Ah! <laughs> Told you, bro. He ain't that tight. Stereotype, he will save y'all life with that. I'm telling you, when you, every, every, look. They say the average person, bro. The average person, you don't know it, but the average person, right? See about 80 to 130 faces a day. Stereotype every single one of them. For real, bro, because they'll get you. You won't be here tomorrow. That's crazy. He had to prove that the girl never gave consent, which was difficult given that only some of the attack was caught on camera. But be that is so weird to me, bro. If they not 18, let's go with 19. 18 is legal, but how you gonna want consent from the 17 year old? Well, ghost, in my city, in my state, it's legal. No, it's not. All around the world, bro. The whole globe. The whole globe. Like Earth? You know, like Earth? I don't know. I forgot. What were we, third or fourth from the sun? I don't remember. Remember, remember. 17 is illegal. I don't care what nobody says. It's 18 and up. If you did anything with a 17, you, 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 you're a pedophile, bro. And you nasty. You need to get beat up. A million times. She's cool with it. Her mom's cool with it. We're bonding. We're the only way, the only way, listen to me. Listen to your boy. The only way that's cool. If you're in the, look, you're in the tenth grade, she's in the ninth grade. Fourteen years old, ninth. What are you, fifteen in the tenth? So therefore, you about to graduate. The next year she's in twelfth grade. She said that that counts. But all you fools that trying to bag a bad one at Walmart or something like that, bro, I will beat your ass. I'll beat your ass, bro. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Fools that like little girls can't fight anyway. <laughs> yep, I stereotype y'all Became a lot easier when Raymond almost instantly made a huge slip up in the interrogation that put him dead to rights. This girl came back to my house. She's me. She wants to lose her virginity, man. They, like, she's ready to do it. And Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta rewind this. We gotta rewind this. Y'all gotta remember what he did. Y'all gotta remember what he did. 
Evans. Raymond was brought in after police obtained footage of him assaulting a 17-year-old girl. Police had to prove that the girl never gave consent, which was difficult given that only some of the attack was caught on camera. But it became filmed. a lot easier when Raymond almost instantly made a huge slip-up in the interrogation that put him dead to rights. This girl came back to my house, she's told me she wants to lose her virginity, man. It, like she's ready to do it and everything. And then right a couple seconds before and she's like, uh, she's like, I don't know, and stuff like that. She's telling me, yes, everything's cool, she's cool with making out. But when she when she when she said, I don't know, that's iffy, my guy. Green stop. Please don't do this. It hurts so much. I was already what, inside what? of her at that point. I mean, like the oh no, stop. I'm already like inside of her there. Ah you going to jail, bro. I was already inside. I don't care if you was a centimeter in or your whole two inches. Stereotype. Now I ain't gotta say Paul, I'm a grown ass. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you put your whole two in there or a little, if she say stop, stop, bro. If she say stop, stop, bro. As soon as she say stop, and you go for another second, R A P E. Yep, you going to jail, my guy. She's seventeen. You shouldn't went to jail for that anyway. Just for linking up with her and thinking you trying to you wear a cringe handsome when you need him. Man, that's already like that's when she's like, oh, it hurts. Which it hurts when a girl gets her virginity taken. Wow. He basically said, duh, it hurts. Like, you a female. Well, you only got two, so you might be. <laughs> and without even trying, the cops Maybe had everything three. they needed to convict him. Yeah. So he was quickly found guilty and sentenced to nine years in prison. But while That's Raymond's it. interview ended in under ten minutes, Quantrell Schwartzlow did it even faster. With his interrogation... What did this fool do? In under 10 minutes, Quantrell Schwa He looked like a hater. He looked like a hater. Like a homie you don't have. But again, a stereotype. He looked at, you see how he looking? With them dead to rights eyes, like shh. He only looking at the camera like that. He look at kids like that, he look at females like that, he finna look at no nigga like that. So therefore, his crime was towards a female. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Let's see if we right, go. Wartslow did it even faster, with his interrogation ending in just seconds. But not in the way you'd think. Quantrell was brought in for strangling a girl and assault. <laughs> Stereotype and ghosts. What we two for two right now? We two for two? Yeah. You ain't looking at camera women and kids like that, bro. You ain't looking at no. Seeing <laughs> her, a crime he clearly didn't want to be convicted of. You want to jump out the window? Oh, bro, you gotta be on the. He's out of there. My guy. Oh no. My guy heart dropped like he was on a roller coaster. Imagine not seeing a suspect in a room and then seeing the blinds all messed up. The unthinkable, bro. You leave the window up, you don't tie them down because they probably think they got to be like on the second floor, bro. When you go into a building, a court building, probation officer, any official building, they don't never have the rooms on the first floor. You're always going to get on the elevator, go up the stairs, and that's where all the courtrooms at, the regular office is at. Like, did bro jump a story or two? Unfortunately for Quantrell, his handcuffs were a dead giveaway, and he was captured four hours later. While it's unknown exactly I what happened. called four hours later and still had the handcuffs on. I'm Quantrell after, this clip will forever put him in the Interrogation Hall of Fame. However, Ricky Hawthorne took a much more straightforward approach to ending his interrogation, managing to confess in record time. Ricky was found covered in blood near the bodies of Lara Kuchar and Tommy Skeens. Oh man, I didn't even get a chance to write him that. I'm trying to see what was going on, my bad. But it looked like this was, they look homeless. They do look homeless, bro. What did they do for you to kill the boyfriend and the girlfriend? That's the reason why he did it. It had to be, right? 
corpse found covered in blood near the bodies of Lara Kuchar and Tommy Skeens. Lara had clearly been assaulted. Ricky's DNA was also found at the, the scene, R-word. so police had no worries when bringing him in. Surprisingly, though, Ricky would make it even easier for them. Bro, y'all take it too long. <laughs> hey, hey, come on in. Hey. Bro, invite him. Bro said, come on in like they in his house. You know what I'm saying? This, this is the only time, not the only time, but this is the first time in a long time where he got to, like, invite somebody in somewhere. So he seen his opportunity and took it. If this him confessing and what he did, oh well. It's just that I haven't invited somebody in something in so long, like since I'm homeless. I had to take it. Bro knocked on a door to invite somebody in. It's usually they knock on the door, then you say come in. He wanted to invite somebody in so bad. Probably for like the last 15, 20 years of his life. He knocked on the door and invited. Damn. I, I, hold on, let me get my. <laughs> that boy said, hey, come on in. And it looked like it was his house because, watch how he stepped back and dip his head real quick. Like, come on in, man. I got to holler at you real quick, bro. Like, look, look. Get even easier for them. Come on in. Hey, hey, come on in. <laughs> hey, yes, sir. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you know what? Let's do this. I did it, but I think somebody came behind me and finished it. Okay. Yeah, I did it. I did it, but somebody came behind me and finished it. Bro, I'm, I'm y'all not, and I'm not the smartest person in the world by far. But I did enough of these to know, and I lived enough life to know. I'm in my thirties now. To know nobody is that unlucky. You only see it on movies to where. One person want to come and kill you. And then you have another person at the same time that want to do the same thing. So you mean to tell me two people, two different people that don't know each other on the same night at the same location came to off you, bro. Nobody is that unlucky. You didn't want to think about the lie before you invited them back in there. Like, how you going to say I did it, but I think somebody came behind me and finished the job. Laura and old boy, not that unlucky to have two kids. They not, bro. I'm sorry. Hey, yes, sir. Yeah, I did. Oh, I did. You know what? Let's do this. I did it, but I think somebody came behind me and finished it. Okay. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so much for staying silent. <laughs> However, Ricky is alleging that he wasn't actually the murderer. He just attacked the couple and assaulted Laura. It was someone else that finished the job. And he only say if he assaulted Laura because they found his DNA on her when he r word her. You going to jail, bro. You already, once you put yourself at the crime scene, you going to go to jail until we find somebody else that did it, bro. They know nobody else didn't do it. Put yourself at the crime scene, you're going to jail, I don't care. Even though the evidence was stacked against him, he robbery. still would have had a better chance of getting you know, away with it at the if crime he scene, just bro. stayed silent. For real. There's three more people. I don't know. And you know what? They was living when I left. But I think somebody came in behind me and finished them off. I did beat the shit out of them. But it was somebody else. I, don't, I left. Despite his claims, it was determined that the couple died of the injuries inflicted by Ricky, and he was later found guilty of first and second degree murder, Life as well as grow. battery in the assault on Laura. But Jared Murray takes the cake for the most insane interrogation in history. I ain't even gotta say what he did, you already know, bro. Come on, man. He's scared of a 16 year old that been working out for three days. So we know it has nothing, we already know what he did. Jared had shot his friend in the head during a car ride to Walmart for no other reason than to know what it felt like to kill someone. Jared attempted to flee by hitchhiking to Canada, but was picked up by an officer after perfectly matching the perp's description. The officer took him into custody where a quick but truly chilling interview took place. Okay, and what do you remember telling me? That's what I'm saying, bro. Just like a male and female relationship. All relationships. Y'all need to take them at... Y'all need to value them high. And what I mean by value them high is pay attention, bro. I ain't talking about putting them on a pedestal. Like, never think they can't do the impossible. You know what I'm saying? 
a female get with a dude. The first three months is cool. The fourth month, he pushing you. The second month, he throwing stuff at you. You see the beating. You see what's finna start, right? The eighth month, socked you in the face. Third month, push you down the stairs. Hit you with a bat. Two years later, now he done off you. You know what I'm saying? You done seen that. Bro, shot his friend in the head. His friend already knew how much of a nut he was. He just didn't think he had nut up on him. You. <clears throat> I be saying, I be, I be thinking whoever for my brain, bro, because it ain't that important for me to kick it with you, smoke with you, be around you, bro. If I don't feel it, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Because I tell y'all all the time, it's no way you could be on point 24-7. You slipping. You slipping, bro. You driving your car, sitting at the light, looking at your phone real quick. Up, oh, you slipping for 10 seconds. You pumping your gas to talk to the kids in the car because they cry. Up, oh, you slipping for 20 seconds. It's impossible to be on point 24-7 in your life, bro. And having people around you that know your vulnerability is scary. And you know... That you ain't supposed to be around him, but you ain't got no weed to smoke, so you gonna kick it with him. You feel like you ain't got no friends. You always in the house, you don't go nowhere. Y'all gotta stop this, man. Being around another life is not that important, bro. You have your own life. It's okay to be alone sometimes. Work out, meditate, read a book. Like, you, life is crazy, bro. Uh, in summation, that I'm guilty, yes. Of what? Of murder. Okay, and who did you murder? Uh, Gennaro. Okay, and, and how did you murder him? With a gun. I shot him in the head twice. Wow. Okay. You had uh, your friend that much. Jared isn't hanging around here, and apparently had already confessed before he even made it to the station. But what's interesting about this interrogation isn't the speed at which he confessed, it's exactly why, as well as his general demeanor throughout the interview. Okay. Jared, give me your full name. Jerry Lindroth Wayne Murray. He and proud of me. What's your date of birth? Uh, July the 20th, 1994. Everybody that's watching, if your birthday is July 20th, unsubscribe. Now. You're aware. <laughs> if your birthday is July 20th, I ain't tripping more. I got my real ones that's here. And if you're a real one, your birthday is July 20th, then evidently you're not. All right. If your birthday is July 20th, Bro, you killed your homie. This is your brother. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. What sign is that? I don't care about zodiac signs. All I, only zodiac sign that exists to me is a Libra because people told me that's what I was. It's my birthday, September 24th. But other than that, I don't know. Where, where, what's this month? Libras? <laughs> is it this month in September? I don't know. Leo, Libra, Sagittarius. Crazy. Ain't nothing more mature. I was about to say females like this, but it's because there's some dudes like this too. You know somebody won't talk to you or date you because of a zodiac sign you are? Y'all gonna have a miserable life, bro. I messed with a Sagittarius before. I can't do you, boo. Man, you're gonna have a miserable life. <laughs> I promise you, zodiac signs don't mean nothing. Y'all all somebody can write down zodiac signs, write down what they mean, put it in a book, bottle it up, sell it, y'all eat it up. They did this thing on YouTube that we was watching on live, bro. We was watching on live stream, right? And it was so dope for the simple fact. They said, mm-hmm. <laughs> If you look at zodiac sign, you look at your zodiac sign, you really you gonna be like, oh, this is really me. I really do this, All right? That's what you're gonna say when you read your zodiac sign. And so you gotta have unbiased people up in there. And so they had the people also reading other zodiac signs. They was like, dang, this is me too. I'm a Leo in a Sagittarius. Dang, I'm an Aries too. Like you did if your birthday July 20th, the point I'm trying to make is. Leave. Bro, leave. We don't even want you. Like, leave. Just, just. How'd you get out of your I went down to his dorm room and asked if I could be given a ride to Walmart in exchange for $20 gas money. Okay. Did he agree to that? Yes, sir. Okay. 
And that's a couple miles from the school? Uh, 1.7 miles, sir. 1.7 miles. He saved yes, too sir. proper yes, to go ahead and do it. Um, yeah. So he took you to Walmart? Yes, sir. And did you both go in? No, we did not go in, sir. Okay, and why not? We pulled into the parking lot, then I pulled the uh, weapon on him and demanded that he take me to Asher, Oklahoma, sir. Okay, and why did all of a sudden did you decide that you needed to go to Asher? It was too busy at Walmart. Because I was planning to take him out into the country and kill him. Jared lacks any form of empathy, remorse, or knowledge that what he's done is a bad thing. He merely expresses his actions as though they were fact, and in a later psychological assessment, it was determined this was because he had become delusional and believed that he was required to kill someone. If it's not clear by now, Jared was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, and delusions from this are likely what pushed him to kill Gennaro. But Jared is- Man, I understand, bro. Disorders is real. Um, Y'all know my son got autism or whatever the case, but <clears throat> it's no way. I did a few videos on people sleepwalking murderers, right? Like, literally. Will get up, nigga, get their burner, walk around town, drive, bro, do a little killing, come back home, get in their bed and go to sleep. I call it cap. I don't care what nobody say. But they will get in that disorder and they get off because of that. Bro, if you call somebody, link up with them, explain it, everything how he did. Yeah, we're going to go to Walmart, get to Walmart, never mind, pull a burner out. So let's go to the country. You planning on everything, and after he do the killing, y'all going to say he was whoop, whoop, whoop? Nah, buddy. My son is autistic. You know what I'm saying? If my son did this, right, he would just be an autistic kid that committed a murder. I can't say I wouldn't feel... Like I could present a case to anybody, to the court, to the victim's family. Like my son had autism. That's why he did it. I seem so fake, bro. I couldn't live with myself for that. My son knows right from wrong, bro. He knows right from wrong. I didn't. I'm not buying this. I'm not buying this. And he He's got happy off. to provide us with even more details surrounding his motive. Oh, he probably in a crazy. So room. you've been listen to you've me. been planning this for two days. Uh, two weeks, yes. Two weeks. But not Had to correct him, though. See what I'm saying? Not two days, two weeks. What's two weeks? 14 days? What, can I say two weeks and seven hours? I know the exact... Come on, man. Y'all got to go for president. We not doing this. You murder somebody? You can't. No kind of disability help you, my brother, sister, friend. At all. Not with a selected individual, no. And when did you... Get to the point where you knew it was going to be him. That was three days prior to the incident. And he, 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 he too, uh, all he the too on the fact, you on, on you. I believed that he would have had the least impact, sir. Impact of on what? Uh, I believed he didn't have many friends. So you already assessed his life and his situation. I'm not going to kill Bob. Because he have his mom and dad in his life. He plays football. He has a girlfriend. All the friends. Like, he's a little popular. But I'm just going to off him because he don't have many friends. Nobody will miss him. And y'all still diagnose him, though. He doing all these assessments, bro. All these assessments. And y'all still diagnose my guy. Ghost for president. Fire squad. He did it just for the joy of it. For the thrill, bro. And y'all gave him a scapegoat. There are many close friends, I should rephrase. And as his <clears throat> as he is going missing, his absence would be less notable. Jared was, of course, charged with first-degree murder, but was eventually found not guilty by reason of insanity. Oh instead my of receiving God! Prison time, he would instead spend an indefinite amount of time in oh custody at a mental health facility, where he would. Hold on. That was Jared. Was eventually found not guilty by reason of insanity, instead of receiving prison time. What he do? He got a tape worm in his stomach? He would instead spend an indefinite amount of time in custody at a mental health facility where he would receive the treatment he should have had so much earlier. Needed, All needed. three of these cases have been about criminals. Bro, got off so easy. He got off so easy. Scandalous, man. They, he did his homie twice in the head and they let him off. Not guilty. 
and get at y'all in action 100.